day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about combined variation. Let's talk about combined variation. So for combined variation, we're going to encounter the phrase if y varies directly as x and inversely as z. Now, if you can observe, we have the word directly and inversely. That's why we are that's why we have the word combined variation because it is a combination of two variation, direct and inverse variation. We're going to have our y, it's our dependent variable, and we're also going to have another two independent variable, which is x and y. The variable y will change due to the value of x and z. So, if you encounter a combined variation, we can translate this as y is equal to the constant variation times x divided by z. Now take note, when you encounter the word directly, you're going to multiply that variable to the constant variation. And if you encounter inversely, the word inversely, you're going to divide that variable to your constant variation. So let's have some example in solving combined variation. All right, okay, so let's have an example. Y varies directly as X and inversely as Z. If Y is equal to 10 when X is equal to 2 and Z is equal to 4, find Y if X is 3 and Z is 5. So in this case, we're going to translate or formulate our equation. So we have the word varies directly and also we have the word inversely. Therefore, we're going to deal with a combined variation. Again, let's translate this phrase into an equation. So we're going to have the variable y, our dependent variable, is equal to the constant variation times our variable x divided by the variable z. And now that we have our formula, we can now solve for our constant variation. Now to get our constant variation, we're going to use the first set of y, x, and z. Using the same equation, y is equal to k, x over z, let's substitute the given y, x, and z. So 10 is equal to the constant variation times the value of x, which is 2, and divided by the value of z, which is 4. Now, I can simplify 4 and 2 by cancellation. 2 will become 1, 4 will become 2. So, we will have 10 is equal to k over 2. Now, let's multiply both sides by 2 to isolate k. Our constant variation will be equal to 20. Now that we have our constant variation, we can now solve for the value of y if x is 3 and z is 5. Using the same equation, y is equal to kx all over z, but this time, we're going to substitute the value, the new value of x and the new value of z, and also our constant variation. So y is equal to 20, that's the constant variation, times the value of x, which is 3, all over 5, which is the value of z. Simplifying this, I can cancel 20 and 5. 20 will become 4, and 5 will become 1. 4 times 3, that will be equal to 12. So our final answer, y will be equal to 12 if x is 3 and z is 5. Five. Okay, let's have another example. M varies directly as A and inversely as C. If M is 20 when A is 8 and C is 16, find M if A is 21 and C is 56. So in this case, we're going to translate the phrase M varies directly as A and inversely as C. So since we use the word varies directly and inversely, we're going to deal with combined variation. So 
we can translate it as the dependent variable m will be equal to the constant variation times the value of a all over the value of c and that will be the equation of our variation now let's proceed to finding the constant variation the constant variation is going to be useful in finding the value of m later so to get the constant variation we're going to use the same formula same equation m is equal to k a all over c but this time we're going to substitute it with the first set of given present that is the value of m a and c so m is 20 a is 18 and c is 16 so substituting that to our equation we will get we will get 20 is equal to the constant variation times 8 all over 16 now we can simplify 8 and 16 by cancellation 8 will become 1 16 will become 2 we will have 20 is equal to k over 2 multiplying both sides by 2 to isolate our constant variation k is equal to 40. now that we have our constant variation we can now solve for the value of m if a is 21 and c is 56 so let's substitute using our using the same equation m is equal to ka over c we substitute the value of the constant variation, the value of A, and the value of C. So M is equal to 40 times 21 all over 56. M is equal to, so I can cancel 40 and 56 because because they share a common factor which is 8 56 will become 7 now I can also cancel 21 and 7 7 will become 1 and 21 will become 3 5 times 3 the value of M will be equal to 15 and that is the value of M if A is 21 and C is 56 alright let's have another example so p varies directly as q and inversely as t if p is equal to 12 when q is 9 and t is 6 find q if p is 18 and t is 3 so in this case we're going to formulate our equation based on our first sentence and since we encounter the word varies directly and inversely we're going to have a combined variation so our equation will be the dependent variable p will be equal to the constant variation times q all over the value of t so this will be the equation that we're going to use throughout our solution okay so now the next thing that we're going to do is to find the constant variation and to find our constant variation, we're going to use the same equation, P is equal to KQ all over T. So let's substitute. We have 12 is equal to the constant variation times 9 all over 6. Simplify our numerator and denominator. We can cancel 9 and 6. 9 will become 3 and 6 will become 2. Now we will have 12 is equal to k times 3 all over 2. Now to eliminate a fraction, to isolate k, we must multiply both sides by the reciprocal of our fraction, which is 2 thirds. Multiplying both sides by 2 thirds, we can now cancel our numerator and denominator for the constant variation for our left side we can cancel 3 and 12 3 will become 1 and 4, 12 will become 4 our constant variation is equal to 8 
Now that we have our constant variation, we can now find the value of Q if P is 18, T is 3. So in order for us to find Q, we need to use the same equation, P is equal to KQ all over T, and substitute our new given or our new value for P and T, and also the constant variation. So we have 18 is equal to 8 times q all over now let's let's multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the fraction so the reciprocal of 8 over 3 is 3 over 8 so multiply both sides by 3 over 8 so we will have q is equal to 3 over 8 times 18 let's simplify we can cancel 8 and 18 so 8 will be 8 will be 4 and 18 will be 9 can we still cancel since we cannot cancel anymore we can simplify by multiplying the numerator by numerator denominator by denominator so q is equal to 27 all over 4 so q is equal to 27 over 4 if p is 18 and t is 3 so this will be our final answer okay let's have our last example for today a varies directly as b and inversely as c if a is equal to 28 when b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 12 find c if a is 14 and b is 2 so to solve this we need to translate the first statement into an equation. Since we use the word varies directly and the word inversely, we're going to encounter combined variation. So we can translate this as our dependent variable A is equal to the constant variation times B all over inversely as C so divided by c now now that we have our equation we can now solve for our constant variation using the same equation a is equal to k times b over c so substituting the values of a b and c to our equation we have 28 is equal to the constant variation times 6 all over 12. Simplifying the numerator and denominator, let's apply cancellation. So we can cancel 6 and 12. 6 will become 1 and 12 will become 2. So we have 28 is equal to k over 2. Now let's multiply both sides by 2 to isolate k. So k is equal to, equal to 56. Now that we have our constant variation, now that we have our constant variation, we can now find C if A is equal to 14 and B is equal to 2. So using the same equation, A is equal to KB all over C, let's substitute the new values of A, B, and our constant variation to our equation. So A is 14 is equal to the constant variation 56 times b which is 2 all over c and then let's simplify we have 14 is equal to uh, 112 all over c now let's isolate c by multiplying both sides by c multiplying both sides by c we will have 14c is equal to 112. Divide both sides by 14 to isolate c. c is equal to our, the value of c will be equal to 8. So this will be our final answer. Now that you already know how to solve combined variation, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video.